after COVID, this is the first time for TMF to organize the meeting in Copenhagen. Great. So I see a lot of uh, customers coming and uh, we can feel the hot and also can feel the economy getting covered. So we see that the, the, uh, the, the heating on the market in terms of a transformation, the demanding on going to the cloud, embracing the open platform, this kind of attitude and intention are really strong. Um, so personally, I feel firstly the confidence on the market demand is over there, or even bigger or better than I uh, expected. Right. And secondly, I feel more confident is that the strategy we made was actually fitting to this kind of demand. Maybe every day more than 100 customers visit our booth and uh, they are quite interested in our uh, topic, which is uh, uh, bring the digital transformation to zero to this industry. Perfect. And, uh, and also, recently when I traveled to uh, some other countries to visit our customer, they also choose a lot of interest on the beyond connectivity. All right. That's our major uh, value we would like to bring in uh, digital transformation to zero. Yeah. Really need to identify the competence that when everyone talking about the cloud native, talking about the open, um, open API, talking about ODA uh, architecture, what exact value we can bring, real cloud can bring to the society, to our customer. Uh, we are trying to be more open, all right, in the in in the BSS and the OSS. So now we are trying to bring uh, the most advanced the digital platform to our telco clients. And besides that, we are innovating in the digital service layer uh, by uh, bringing telco some digital offerings, uh, including the cloud, fintech, e-commerce, and the super app. But many many operators or enterprises are moving their workload to cloud. So we actually we see the change. And we, together with Alibaba Cloud, we are bringing this localized public cloud for telcos that is owned by telcos. And then now what we're doing is reusable microservices components, which are actually taking the APIs and getting us closer and closer to that plug and play, which you can just drop into an environment, which we call a canvas, and that's how they're going to run. Okay. We have uh, deployed and validation. Uh, most important is our latest commercial version, cloud native commercial version, version 9. Right. A lot of um, microservice components mapping to ODA component, and we deploy a multi cloud environment. And Whale Cloud have been excellent in terms of contributions on operational capabilities. And the future of this is moving to a much more agile, flexible, economical solutions. My experience in my first year in uh, Whale Cloud, I was very impressed by the way we presented ourselves. And uh, you tell them about what you're doing and they get interested and they uh, want to talk further and also meet our clients. So we talk to our clients we have invited, we talk to other clients, potential clients, uh, okay. and we connect them together. You know? So we put them together in the meeting room, we share the experience and what I learned is that you know, the best sales guy in your team is happy client. My sense about a successful meeting and we try to contact with those uh, new customers, right? So okay. Talia, Tanning or etc. Uh, etc. Et a lot of people are system integrator. So I, I believe this is really successful event uh, so far that post COVID. This year in Copenhagen to our customers, to our partners, to to all of the the, the, the team, the companies who want to support us or want to cooperate with us, we are the best SQ executive team in the world as a, as a software vendor or as a solution provider. And next year, probably the same time in Copenhagen, we will come up with more specific samples, ideas and figures to demonstrate that the strategy we choose is fitting to the market demand and the real value we can bring to our customers, to the society, is huge.